With the elimination of his elder brother Ramagupt, Chandragupta II now became the next Gupta ruler. And this accession of Chandragupta II happened in either 376 AD or 380 AD. And we find that after securing the Gupta throne, Chandragupta II led an ambitious campaign that would see the Gupta army crossing the Hindu Kush. Now, most of the information about this ambitious campaign comes from an inscription that is found on the famous iron pillar of Delhi. The pillar tells us about the glories of a certain Chandra. Now, this Chandra, according to most scholars, was our Chandragupta II, the son of Samudragupta. And in this description, we are told great qualities of Chandra. But apart from this, we also get information about two important campaigns of Chandragupta II. In the first campaign, we are told that this Chandra defeated the chiefs of Vanga country. And in the second, we are told that he conquered the country of the Vahalikas. Now, before we talk about this expedition that led to the crossing of Hindu Kush, I think it is important for us to first discuss the defeat of the chiefs of Vanga country because I think this campaign of Chandragupta was the first campaign which he led when he ascended the Gupta throne. Although in the Iron Pillar inscription, we are not told about the dates of these two campaigns, but I think it is the campaign against the chiefs of the Vanga country that happened first. The reason why I believe that this was the first campaign because we can clearly assume that after the accession of Chandragupta II, soon after the death of Samudragupta, we find that there was a type of civil war between Chandragupta second and his elder brother Ramgupta. Now, it could be argued that during this civil war or this struggle between these two brothers, the chiefs of the Vanga country decided that this is the best time for them to gain independence. Now, we have discussed that during the reign of Samudragupta, this region was not exactly conquered by Samudragupta, but the rulers of this region accepted the overlordship of the Guptas. So, it could be argued that when Samudragupta died and there was a turmoil in the Gupta Empire because of the struggle between the two sons of Samudragupta, Chandragupta II and Ramgupta, we see that now the rulers of the Vanga country decided that this was the best opportunity for them to break the Gupta yoke. Unfortunately for the rulers of the Vanga region, this struggle between these two brothers did not last long. Chandragupta II was able to defeat Ramgupta and we find that after securing his throne, Chandragupta II now turned his attention towards the Vanga country. For Chandragupta, the revolt in the Vanga country was quite important because firstly, we see that this revolt could easily spread in other parts of Gupta Empire where the Gupta rule had not established firmly enough. And the second most important reason for Chandragupta II to crush this revolt was that after eliminating Ramgupta, his position as a Gupta emperor was not yet secure. So by crushing these chiefs of the Vanga country, he could now show the Gupta public that he had the potential to become the successor of the great Samutragupta. Another reason why this revolt had to be crushed by Chandragupta II was because Vanga country was quite close to the great ports of the Guptas and particularly the port of Tamralipti. If Chandragupta II did not do much to quell this revolt, these rulers of the Vanga country could easily attack the Gupta port. So it was quite important for Chandragupta II to crush this revolt. Now we do not exactly know how this revolt was crushed by Chandragupta II. In the inscription, we are just told that Chandragupta II defeated the chiefs of the Vanga country. And we can assume that it would have been quite easy for Chandragupta II to defeat these rulers because he had the Gupta army, which during the reign of his father had conquered most of northern India for 
Samudragupt. Having secured his eastern flank, Chandragupt II now shifted his attention towards the northwestern boundary of the Gupta Empire. As we have discussed in earlier videos, this region particularly was not completely conquered by Samudragupta. In most cases, Samudragupta did not destroy the kingdoms that were present in this region. He allowed them to function normally by paying tribute to the great Gupta Emperor. And what we see is that this had a certain reasoning behind this. And this has to do with the fact that these kingdoms acted as buffer states. So when Chandragupta II decided to mount an expedition in this region, there has to be certain reasons why he decided to do so. And I believe that there were primarily two reasons behind this expedition. The first reason has to do with the political situation of this region. We find that during this period, a new kind of people had started appearing in this region. And by the time of 380 AD, these people have not only conquered the bulk region, but they had also moved southwards and the Kabul Valley was also under their control. And these people were the Huns. So this expedition of Chandragupta II was a punitive expedition against the Huns. Chandragupta II knew that after conquering the Kabul Valley, the next target for these Huns would be the Gupta Empire in the Indian subcontinent. So this expedition was a punitive expedition. The second reason has to do with supply of horses. Now. India, as most of us know, is not the best place to breed horses. In most cases, most of the supply of horses were from the outside. And there were two centers or two regions where these supply of horses happened. So the first region was the region of Northwest and through the passes, the Central Asian horses were supplied to the Indian powers. And the second route from where these horse were supplied was through the western coast, particularly the coast of Gujarat and Maharashtra. During this period, the coast of Gujarat and Maharashtra were under the control of western shakas. So this would mean that from this region, the Guptas could not expect the supply of horses. So the only route that could supply horses to the Gupta Empire was the northwestern route. And I believe that these Huns had stopped the supply of these horses because they controlled the passes, particularly the Kabul Valley and the Bulk region. So this expedition of Chandragupta II was an attempt to secure the supply of horses to the Gupta Empire. So these are primarily the two main reasons why Chandragupta II led an expedition in this region. Now, the next question which comes is, what are the evidences that we have that proves that Chandragupta II led an expedition beyond Hindu Kush? So as I have noted earlier, that one of the major evidence is the inscription on the iron pillar. So this iron pillar inscription tells us that Chandragupta II conquered the country of the Vahalikas. Some scholars believe that this Vahalika country that is mentioned in this inscription is not the bulk region. Instead, it is a region within the Punjab. But I believe that this is not true because the inscription clearly tells us that this Chandra crossed the seven mouth Sindhu, Saptamukhani Sindhu. And the only other region which had the name Vahalika in the Indian sources was the region of Balk. So it is quite clear that Chandragupta II did cross the Hindu Kush and attacked the region of Balk. Now another evidence of this expedition comes from the Hunza region which is in Gilgit, Baltistan. And we find that in this region there are multiple inscriptions that have the name Vikramaditya, Chandra and even the name Harisen is mentioned. Harisen, as most of us know, was the minister of Samundragupta. So all of this suggests that Chandragupta II did make an expedition in the bulk region. Now another question which arises is that whether 
दिस वॉज ए कॉन्क्वेस्ट और जस्ट एन एक्सपर्टिशन एंड आई बिलीव दैट दिस वॉज जस्ट एन एक्सपर्टिशन एंड दिस कुड बी सीन फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट फ्रॉम दिस रीजन वी डोंट हैव एनी एविडेंस ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड और द गुप्ता ऑक्यूपेशन देर आर नो कॉइंस ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड दैट आर फाउंड इन दिस रीजन इवन इन पंजाब वी फाइंड दैट देर आर कुशान टाइप कॉइंस ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड बट दीज आर क्वाइट फ्यू so this would suggest that this region of punjab was under the gupta overlordship but there was no gupta governor or there was no direct control of the guptas in the punjab region particularly now as i have discussed that one of the reasons why chandragupta second made an expedition beyond hindu kush was the supply of horses and the reason why there was this big need for horses was that Chandragupta II was planning a great campaign. Now about this campaign, I will talk in a later video, and you can watch this video here when it will be uploaded. And if you want to know more about the Gupta history, please watch this playlist where I have covered the Gupta history from the beginning. Thank you for watching.